EA Sports. It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What's going on guys? We got Manual Sauce here and today you are getting a look at our September Elite Cup playoff run. I would like to reiterate that it is September. Do you know how hard it was to find a match out of 18,536 clubs at the beginning of the playoffs? There were 175 qualified Elite Cup teams. That means that 0.9 percent of the clubs in EASHL were qualified for the September Elite Cup. Not even 1% of the teams in EA Sports Hockey League were qualified for this Elite Cup. So it was really hard to find a match. And that means the teams we're going to match up against are going to be pretty damn good. And we're off to a hot start, giving up a breakaway goal in the first couple minutes of our first game in the Elite Cup. It's the first cup of NHL 18. I'm really pumped that we're going to get 12 chances to win an Elite Cup this year. Last year we started our team in January when we first started playing together. So we only had a few chances. We weren't even in the Elite Cup until March. We were in like D4, our first playoff run around. And absolute muffin from the point finds its way in. We're down 2 nothing. Not a good start in the Elite Cup playoffs. But yeah, we didn't get our team into d1 until february for some reason it dropped us into the pro cup while we were in d1 who knows why but at least we picked up a cup for the boys in that instance but here goes junior hawk putting the team on his back he said fuck this we're down 2-0 i'm making it 2-1 salute the fans yager salute you got to score 200 goals to unlock that it's september he has 200 goals that's freaking hype and you know what else is freaking hype? Being down 2-0 and coming back to 2-2 right here in the first period. Look, I don't have the full gameplay for you guys, but we spent the entire first period in the offensive zone. They had 36 seconds of attack time. And look at Bro Beans. All three forwards have a goal. We're up 3-2. And we ended up tied 4-4. But in the first period, we had six and a half minutes of attack time. They had, oh my goalie, they had 36 seconds and we were tied 2-2 two to two at one point. But anyway, it's 4-4, four to four. we're in overtime. We ended up in overtime and Junior Hawk lets the muffin go from the high slot and we win the game 5-4. to four. It's sad that we ended up in overtime. The final attack time was 14 minutes for us and 3 minutes for them and we won 5-4 to four in overtime. What's up with that? Anyway, we got the dub, we grinded through it, and we matched the same team again. So right after, we searched for another game, and we matched the same team, and they backed out and said, screw that, we're not playing these guys again. And we messaged them, we're like, come on, play us, dude, we can't find any other matchups. And they're like, actually, we just got off of EASHL, or otherwise we would. They get back on like an hour later, they're like, hey, do you guys still want to play? We're like, hell yeah, we want to play. So we searched, we matched them again, they're actually really cool guys. They came into our party. They're like, good luck, boys. You guys are really solid. You play solid D. You don't really let anything through. Took that as a compliment. That was really nice. Back door. That's a goal. 3 nothing. Third period. We're up 3 nothing on these guys. I, I can't chirp them. They were nice guys. They were cool guys. We got the power play going. Robins picks it up in the corner. Out hustles that icing. Back door to Dabsuk. 4 nothing. So we're up 4 nothing late in the game. We're going to advance to the semifinals of the September Elite Cup playoffs. And guess what? That's the first hat trick for Dab Souk. The boys are pumped. They're hugging it out. There goes Dougie Peters. Love having Dougie back there on right D. He locks that shit down for us. So they score a last minute feel good goal, but we get the four to one W. We're going to the semifinals of the Elite Cup playoffs. We did something different. In the semifinal game, we couldn't find a match, so we played with goalies, and their goalie lagged out, and we get a 3-0 lag out win, 
in the semifinals. We get a free pass to the finals. We were so pumped up. We were shitting our pants. So we're playing with goalies again in the finals. And Brobeans takes the puck up the left wing, fakes the forehand, goes backhand. one nothing. early lead in the Elite Cup Championship game. A little later on in the first, Brobeans with the rock again, grinding to the front of the net, pulls it out front, goes backhand, gets rocked, but tucks it home. 2-0 lead, Elite Cup Finals, the boys are getting pumped, we're like, holy shit, we might pull this out, we might pull out the Elite Cup in the first month of the game, and their goalie's careless wandering, we tuck it home, 3-0 in the first period, and that was enough to get these guys to rage quit out of the game, the boys are the September Elite Cup playoff champions not even one percent of the clubs are competing in the elite cup i doubt even half a percent of the clubs even won the elite cup so manual sauce is in some elite company look at that banner hopefully hopefully we'll get a bunch more of those for you guys this year and that elite cup run propelled us to the 56th ranked team in the world not just threes rankings, combined rankings. We are the 56th ranked club in the entire world. Hope you enjoyed today's video. The boys are the Elite Cup Playoff Champions. Make sure to hit that like button down below.